we're going to zoom in on ADA charts today. We're going to look at the bad scenario. We're going to look at the good scenario in the short term, but it all has to do with the long-term zoomed out story, the weekly chart here. So everybody hit the subscribe, hit the like. I appreciate you cruising through this Cardano video. Let's just jump right into the video. Before we talk about the bad scenario and the good or the bad scenario here, the good scenario here, and what to anticipate, really what to look out for in the short term, I do want to start by just noting something. As you know, and this is this really gives us a sense of what I think we can anticipate even over the over the next month. It might be choppy waters. We want that bull market. We want the parabolic bull market right now. We want Bitcoin to keep going right now. Y'all know that I'm waiting for Bitcoin to break its own bull market doors. Hasn't happened yet. And I'm waiting for Cardano ADA to do its to to do the same thing, break its bull market doors. I'm looking to see, and and I'm not quite sure if it will or not. I'm not exactly sure how the algorithm algorithms work, but Lux Algo, they have this break of structure indicator that we see went off in this very bullish environment last cycle at this time, very similar technical move right here to the move that we're seeing right now. I'm waiting for this break of structure to go off. But what I want to point out before we really dig into the charts is this. And by the way, everybody, this is speculative, right? This, there's no guarantee that things are going to, to pan out the same way. But look what happened before the indicator even triggered, right? You see, this is a weekly, weekly chart. We had this resistance candle, which is the resistance right here, that swing high. Then we have one, two, three, four more weeks. So basically five weeks of choppy sideways. And what I want to make a note of is the 20-week moving average. You see the 20-week moving average. Ada really, even in this week, wicked right down just above the 20-week moving average at the time. So if we go now and we analyze the current move, we're only in the first week of, of this area, right? So we here's our first swing high. Ada comes down. And now we're retesting that swing high. We're in like our first, second week right now. It could be choppy, right? As ADA tries to break this very key area up to around 65 cents or so. And the 200-week moving average right up here around 69 cents. So really key range of resistance, the 20-week moving average around 46 cents. So how volatile ADA is in even the next week, two weeks, three weeks, four weeks, it could be quite volatile, right? And it could be choppy. And it's going to test a lot of people's mentality, I would say. From where ADA is right now, the 20-week moving average is around 18% away. Now, as ADA trades sideways, if it trades sideways, the 20-week will slowly pull into ADA, and that will get closer. Now, we're going to dig into the charts and talk about, well, what, what could compel ADA to move down on the short term or actually finally break out to the upside? Before we dive into these charts and look at the bad and the good on the short term, shout out to the sponsor today. I want to show you something really awesome in terms of CoinLedger, today's sponsor. Crypto Tax is done in minutes. You all know you've been hearing about them on this channel a lot. They, they provide this tax software that makes doing your taxes and getting your reports in minutes. It's, it's truly a few click, clicks of, of the button. And I've showed demo and you know their website does a really good job of that as well. But I just want to show you something. This is what it looks like back there. You can, as you know, add an account, choose Coinbase, hook up Coinbase, boom, brings all your transactions. Put in your MetaMask wallet, boom. Put in the ADA address wallet, boom. All the transactions are there. You run your report. The report is there within minutes. This is what it looks like back there. You can click what your you know, staking rewards are. You can click your short-term gains, long-term gains, and just get a sense of that. But check out what they just did. This is, this is pretty mind-blowing. Back here... In, in the back office of CoinLedger, you, you now have your portfolio. So let me just kind of move over a little bit so you can see this a little bit better. All the transactions that you brought into play and everything you're doing back there with all the reporting and everything, and this is a demo account, but you can see in the demo account, it just breaks down what you have back here. Your portfolio is worked in. It's baked in to the system. And you can click, for instance, Bitcoin. You can click ETH, whatever it is. And you can just... Look at the breakdown. You can click on it and it's just, we're all used to using portfolios separate to doing tax tracking, right? And doing all that and, and tracking that data. But now the fact that you can kind of have it all in one spot and you can see all of your tax activity in one spot and get a sense of your por portfolio all in one spot, NFTs on here, it's pretty powerful. 
So hit the, hit the link below, everybody. You sign up with CoinLedger. I say it all the time. Do your taxes and do them properly. Save a ton of time. Save, save a ton of money. And I really appreciate CoinLedger for sponsoring this video. And also congrats to the new rollout of their portfolio product. It's just phenomenal product. Um, and just in general, CoinLedger. Just love them, guys. So thanks, CoinLedger, again, for sponsoring the video. Let's cruise over to the daily charts. I just want to start. I want to just point one thing out. On the daily, here's our swing high back here. You can see on the, on the RSI overbought, right, is a nice higher high from this high, right? So higher high price, higher high RSI. But now this move that we have, this kind of just swing high, kind of a lower high, but at a general resistance area, look at the momentum, right? It's just low. So if there's going to be some cooling off for ADA, it makes sense right now. And so in terms of that, and let me point out the 50, 50 day moving average around 53 cents. That's important. The 20 day is around 56 cents. If we go, let's start with the bad. Let's start with the bad scenario. And this is really zoomed in. And then we'll look at the good scenario. The bad scenario, actually, it's not even bad. <laughs> it's so zoomed in and it even plays into the good scenario. The bad scenario is if you look at the chart on the short term, and th again, there's no guarantees. It's not like every single time this plays out exactly, but you look at this chart, there's a pretty clear head and shoulders playing out right there, right? With the neckline being tested, maybe even broken right now as I'm doing the video. And a target to downside is around 53 cents. So ADA right now could just be kind of fizzling out at this resistance, general resistance area. And when I say resistance, I mean it. It's not only this range back here that ADA saw resistance at, but if, if we look at swing high to swing low, we have this Fibonacci range as well. We've, we've discussed in a previous video, ADA clearly saw resistance here, failed to break out, failed to get any separation out of that range to the upside. And that's partly why if you go to the daily chart, you really see momentum fizzled out. The, the bulls were not stepping into play to break the resistance that you see in that, re in that rectangle. And so from a pattern perspective, there's a head and shoulders setup. So it, it's just a short term warning, I would say that ADA could keep falling right now, right? Another 10% or so to the downside. Total to the downside from the swing high. And this is where the volatility comes in. And this is, this is kind of nothing. This is 17% to the downside. This is just what happens in bullish environments as well, right? Even if ADA is going to go higher. So that's what that looks like on the, the very short term. Potential target of 53 cents in play. I just want to be realistic about it. Now, if ADA continues just to range here and then maybe make its way back into this Fibonacci zone. It'll be interesting to see if ADA can make a breakout above the 60, 63 cent area. But that's, that's kind of not a piece of this analysis just yet, because if we go to the good speculative chart, here's what I'm watching. So obviously we have this general range. It's this range of resistance we're looking to break. It really plays into, if we go to the weekly chart, what we're looking to happen, right? to break this entire channel to the upside, hopefully get some awesome indicator, go off ADA bull market doors. We've already established this could take weeks. This could take a month. But if we go back to this chart, that's the bad, targets the downside 53. Let's say that happened from where we are right now. In the next day, two days, whatever, it just keeps going down, right? At that moment, we'll be looking for some type of support here. And let's say it happened and we got a bounce. At that moment, we'd be watching for this, which, which I see very clearly on the chart is a potential inverse head and shoulders uh, setup, which if you look at the chart, it's, you know, it's, we don't have a right shoulder yet, but you can actually see um, if, if we hit that target to the downside, that bad target that we looked at, and we kind of hit the 50-day moving average, for instance, around 53 cents, you can see how if ADA bounces there, and we enter another short-term bullish environment, we very well could just start testing this neckline and breakout target out of this pattern is, is around 89, 90 cents to the upside. This could be the continuation that we're waiting for for ADA. That could be the moment. Now, how we consolidate right now, how we even get a speculative right shoulder, who knows? I don't know if it takes five days. I don't know if this would take and draw out to mid-February before we get the setup. I don't know what's going to happen. This is speculative, but it gives you an idea, and it really helps visualize where support areas are, where target areas are, and what could happen from there. But notice, and remember, 
If we zoom all the way out on the chart, and let me actually, it's probably better, you can probably see it a lot better if I just go to the weekly. We zoom all the way out on the weekly. We just talked about a short-term target, 89, 90 cents, right? On that inverse head and shoulder speculative setup. Well, we still have the target out of this descending triangle breakout that we had in November of 2023. The target there is around 85 cents. So that could play into the story for ADA to continue to that area. But again, this whole thing that we're talking about and speculating about on this chart, it could happen just over the course of a whole month, right? And it could happen in a week. It could happen very quickly. But I think what I'm trying to say at the end of the day, besides speculating on, on targets, if they're going to be hit or not, is this. If we look at history and what history tells us, we're pre-having, things are very bullish, but it would be of no surprise if we range and consolidate right here where ADA is all the way down to really the 20-week the moving average, which currently is around 47 cents. That would be very normal. And I think that's probably the most important thing that I could say that I'm tracking right now uh, in, in Cardano land. And so we'll see. We'll see what happens, everybody. And check this out too. Just look at this chart. Left shoulder, almost ahead. But you see what I'm saying? Like left shoulder, I'm sorry. Right here, boom. Almost ahead, not a perfect neckline. Then we have a right shoulder. So even there, you see this bullish macro shift from bear market to bull market. We've been tracking the descending triangle, but I also see that right now as I'm just doing this video. Breakout target. Even, even higher than the descending triangle. Look at this. We're looking at like a dollar eighty to the upside. I'm just seeing this as I'm doing this video. Dollar eighty. Maybe that's for another macro video. But everybody, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I appreciate you. Again, range in play next few weeks, month. But in the short term, at least we have something to track. Will ADA fall to its 53 cent target or can ADA break this Fibonacci range of resistance that it's really at right now, like 59 up to around 63 cents? That's what I'll be tracking. I appreciate all of you watching. Hit the subscribe, hit the like. I'll see you in the next video. God bless.